welcome back to the channel guys today i'll be bringing you some more cyberpunk 2077 gameplay and performance and now they have released the update 1.63 which brings about a whole host of fixes and patches i'll go through those in a moment so to quickly go through the in-game settings playing at a resolution of 3840 by 2160 nvidia low latency is on by default because anytime you have frame generation enabled it comes on with it can't have them on separately now DLSS super resolution is also enabled. I've put sharpening at 35 just to kind of bring back some of that quality because when you put the technical preview on, the path tracing technical preview makes things a little bit too soft for my liking. And everything else is maxed out as you can see. What I have disabled though is film grain chromatic aberration and depth of field and motion blur. These are just effects I feel to make the game a little bit too blurry in my opinion. And uh, I, I prefer to have them off and I've got field of view at 90. Now in terms of crowd density, that's maxed out at high. So those are the settings I'm using. Now, I've been enjoying playing a second, I think this is my maybe my third playthrough of the game. And I have noticed a few issues with uh, some of the, the game's current settings like path tracing. There was an issue where you'd have like multicolored artifacts on some textures. In the update, it specifically lists that they fixed that now. So I'm happy to see that. And I was kind of alluding to that in my live stream yesterday, why I wasn't using path tracing. And secondly, there was an issue that when you're using the phone system, you're receiving a phone call on this game. If you have DLSS enabled and you stay stationary, you'll observe some like white artifacts on the side of the screen, some flashing. They said they fixed that now too, so I'll be interested in if that's actually the case. Um, so they've also improved frame generation performance with AMD CPUs as well. And there's a loads of quest fixes that I'm not gonna get into. I'll leave a link in the description box or a pinned comment for the full list of changes. But what I'm gonna do now is get into some more side missions just to see how the game is playing, see if those issues have been resolved. So one that I'll be able to demonstrate very, very early is the phone call one where if you stay still with DLSS enabled, you should see some artifacting on the side of the screen which I've observed multiple times. If that doesn't happen, that means they have generally fixed it. So I'm going to go to my mission now and see if that is the case. So this is one of my favorite vehicles in the game. This is the Quadro Avenger. It's like a aggressive, futuristic um, Ford Mustang. And uh, it looks awesome. So excited for the Phantom Liberty DLC. If you've never played Cyberpunk before, I would suggest waiting for that because they're going to overhaul the base game to a degree and of course you're going to have the DLC as well because um, you have to play the complete game pretty much all straight away so if you haven't played the game yet I would wait for that but um, I'm specifically looking forward to that because I want to see what they've done how big the DLC is because it's meant to be one of their most expensive in their their history for CD Projekt Red we know that Idris Alba is going to be featuring in that. And Keanu Reeves has come back as Johnny Silverhand. So you've got two alias actors in a DLC, which is awesome. So yeah, really looking forward to it. Okay, so I'm arriving at my mission now. I should get a phone call any minute now. And then we can see if that issue has been resolved. Okay, Padre should call me now. I'm just gonna get out of the car. A client wishes to free another man of his earthly possessions. More specifically, need you to swipe carry your dine's guitar. The job is simple, the reward high. More until it touched. I'll be waiting. So as you can see, there was no artifact in, so they, they've generally fixed that issue. So it's nice to see. That issue was never really present in previous patches, so as with some games, sometimes they fix one thing, they'll break another. And uh, it's been resolved now, so I'm happy with that. So I've got to break in and get Kerry Eurodyne's guitar. No doubt there's going to be some serious security here. I'm going to disable all the closed circuit television. No cameras to catch me doing what I'm doing. Non 
also this game is just amazing in hdr i'd love to play in hdr now for you guys but um you can't use hdr and frame generation together i don't know why that is but that is something that is a limitation of uh, frame generation at the moment maybe they'll deal with that another day but it's a very very strange limitation secondly i thought it's worth mentioning i'm using some mods so i'm using the surface mod and um this kind of explains why my um vram allocations around 18 gig but i'm using around 15. so if you're wondering why i'm using so much vram that's the reason why okay so i can't get in here with my technical ability and i can't rip the door open as well so there i remember there being another way to get in here i think i have to go to the roof then you can jump down off the back off the balcony so let's go up onto the roof and find another way in We'll notice one or two frame spikes as well. You can get a generally smoother experience on this game with frame generation disabled. When you come out of menus and if you look at the map or anything that's kind of static, it does cause um, a bit of a frame spike for a few moments. The reason being you're, you're literally coming down from like 600 FPS or something like that back down to just to about 100 or lower. So it's like it creates a bit of a slow motion feeling i really wish they found a way to uh cap menu um in-game menus to a locked fps and then when you leave the menu um the fps goes back to normal so i can jump down to here and i can get into the apartment let me just disable this cctv okay i remember this guy having top-notch security so i've got to be careful here Turn off the damn radio. I need to be hearing that. Great, it's got another one somewhere. Well, of course. Well, well, I have to appreciate the man's taste in both music and liquor. But what I don't get, I mean, why the fixation on Carrie? Be nice okay i don't have the technical ability to break in here but i should try to at least find if there's any information on here i can use maybe there's a code or something nothing here okay let's go on to the second floor i'm just watching out for cctv because if you mess up, his security turns up and they're pretty good as well, so I'd rather avoid the altercation if I can. I think I might even get a bonus for doing this without causing any any alarm. Oh, you need to enter a code to get into this. I don't know it though. Maybe we can find a clue somewhere. Another door. Okay. Doesn't seem to be any security system in here. There it is. Okay. There's no lock or anything like that. If I grab this, it should be fine. Okay, let's get out of here. Job done. I haven't been found or anything. There were some messages in here. Let's turn off any other security. Surveillance is already off, so that's okay. I should be able to leave through the front door. Easier mission than I remember. No one got killed. Uh, 
I know some of you guys have got questions about frame generation. How does it feel in terms of input lag? All, all I can say is um, it doesn't feel laggy. Like you can easily aim at your target. You can easily shoot the trigger and you're not going to wait two or three seconds like you'll see on some cloud service gaming platforms. But um, I wouldn't use this for competitive gaming. I would say the best time frame generation isn't really going to cause you any issues as if the base FPS is over 120. And then if you use it just to kind of get to somewhere like 200 or 240, then you're not going to feel any type of penalty if you were going to do something like competitive gaming. Anyway, i got to go and deposit this. I'm just waiting for the road to get clear. But yeah, it's nice to see that they fixed that issue with the hollow. That was really annoying. Because I've been playing this game every other day and I noticed it pretty much straight away. So it's really good that they've actually got around to fixing that. All right, let's see what's on the radio. One of the better songs in the game. I swear, this waypoint system is just annoying sometimes. game looks so much better in HDR. I can't even explain just how much better it does, but if you've got a HDR screen, you have to play this game in HDR. I noticed there was an issue around here that the NCPD needed something needed my help with, so I'm going to go and do that mission now. And uh, you're guaranteed to be able to shoot at some people. But it's all about getting in here now. Should be able to run and jump up there actually. Yeah, this guy doesn't know I'm here. Wonder who these guys are. Not too sure who these guys are. They might be Militech. Short circuit this drone. Uh, I think I took down two androids in one go. Guys are pretty tough. Fire, fire. Let's take down this drone with a short circuit. Already, God damn it. That's an order. Oh, you like my blade. Come on, don't die already. What the hell? That was some weird ass glitch. Why you just jumped back up there? I know that wasn't supposed to happen. Together! Roger! One more to go. Um Cut its head completely off. You're a goddamn psycho. I know. Where do you think you're going? Nice. Okay, let's grab all the loot. Not too sure what these guys are doing here. NCPD just want me to neutralize the perps and secure the evidence. All perps have been neutralized for sure. I only spend my time grabbing all this stuff because the easy way to make money on this game. Let's grab the evidence now and get out of here. 
and a good job is for being such a fine upstanding citizen the uh, government will pay you for, for doing these small tasks it's almost like they outsource to kind of local three call you um, local mercs maybe vigilante type people will take on these types of jobs okay gotta find a way out of here now I think I left my car down here. Looks like an easy way to die. I think I'll find another way out. I think this is the way I came in. Pretty sure my car's around here somewhere. Just around the corner. Here it is. I'm stuck the wrong corner. I didn't know it was so close by, I could have walked. I think my car was a little bit too big for that parking zone anyway. Okay, let's get our reward for our hard work. I should get a phone call from Padre, the guy that gave me the job. I'm selling some of this stuff just to make some extra cash. What else do I have that I can sell? That can go as well. Yeah, that'll pretty much do it. I can truly count on you, V. The guitar is in the right hands. Securely now. Closing this contract and transferring your compensation. Okay, guys, so... That is job done. Got a, got a level up for that as well, so I can power up my play even more. Kind of weak at the moment. Oh yeah, that was just a quick look at the patch 1.63. As you can see, they've resolved the issue with the phone calls and the and the uh, kind of flashing artifacts while using the LSS. And they've also resolved the kind of multicolored artifacting while using the path tracing. But all of that's been sorted out and I'm pretty much enjoying Cyberpunk better than I ever have so even if you don't want to wait for the DLC you should still be able to have a good experience with a few bugs here and there but it's definitely playable um, more playable than it's ever been so that is pretty much it for me guys hopefully you've enjoyed the video and as always thanks for watching